Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for this webinar, Programs for International Startups. This webinar is actually uh, for those that have some doubts, uh, questions, uh, you know, about um, our programs uh, at LATAM Startups, including the Startup Visa Program. Uh, the Startup Visa Program is a very popular uh, program uh, for what startups, uh, international startups would like to come uh, to Canada. So i like to, uh, you know, uh, on behalf of LATAM Startups, uh, pass you information about the, the different programs we have, and then you can decide from there uh, which one is the best and, um, you know, when is the best time to actually join a program. My name is Miriam Lazarte. I'm the CEO of LATAM Startups, and we are going to start this webinar now. Uh, so first of all, please, uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can contact at latamstartups.org. Uh, through uh, you know our email, we are happy to answer any questions regarding the programs. Um, all the information about the programs actually are in our website. But uh, you know, after reading information in our website, if you still have some questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, we'll be very happy to answer uh, your questions about our programs. So the first question from uh, some of our startups or the international startups that. Are are inquiring um, about the programs is where to start. Uh, some of the startups actually uh, come in different levels. Uh, some of them are in the ideation phase, uh, which is very common to be mistakenly for, uh, you know, uh, for prototype ready uh, or market validation. So when we say ideation phase, it's because you don't have a prototype. Uh, you don't have anything ready. You are just with an idea in mind. And we uh, actually don't take startups under ideation because uh, our focus in our programs is actually expanding. Uh, so the type of startups we are actually taking into the programs are those that already have customers uh, or users, uh, or they have a first investment even from family and friends or their own bootstrapping. Uh, there are certain cases when we take validation, uh, you know, when we take prototype ready uh, when they don't have customers um, and it's you know in certain sectors for example in um, biotechnology or um, a clean tech when it's very difficult to get into commercialization and startups are looking forward to come here to Canada to uh, finalize prototype and to improve the prototype uh, so in those cases uh, you know we are happy to consider um, uh, you know an opportunity for those are startups, of course, uh, depending on the type of project. Uh, but let's say the common, um, the common type of startups that are coming to the programs are startups that already have users or customers. They already have a certain uh, you know, traction locally uh, that is helping them to think about other markets and um, you know, start expanding. So what type of programs we have? We have three different programs at this point. We have the Scala Bootcamp Toronto, uh, Soft Landing Program, and Star Visa Program. So the Scala Bootcamp Toronto is a week, uh, two weeks uh, program for international startups that are not 100% sure if this uh, market is actually uh, for them. And we are talking not just about Toronto, but we are talking in general about North America. Uh, so they come here. This is a very intense boot camp. We have, um, you know, uh, activities every single day uh, with mentors, uh, with uh, volunteer marketing and business development that is assigned to uh, each of the teams that are selected and with events that are happening every single day. Uh, so with all the activity uh, during the two weeks boot camp, startups usually get an idea if uh, you know this is a, a really good market for them and if it's so they will continue in the soft landing program uh, to complete three months uh, program in in Toronto so the soft landing program starts immediately after the scrap boot camp uh, sometimes we have one week or two uh, as a gap when it finished the boot camp and then continue the soft landing program most of, of the time is because you know, if they are going to stay for up to three months, um, companies may, be, uh, may, may need to, uh, you know, the co-founders need to go back to their own countries and kind of finalize some businesses or 
have um, make sure that somebody is going to be in charge while they are finishing the program. And the soft landing program will be a market entry program. Basically, uh, you know, during the scale up bootcamp, we identify challenges and opportunities for startups. And then the soft landing program is a program that takes action. We want to see them actually, uh, you know, um, basically uh, facing those challenges. Uh, going in through the opportunities and then launching a corporation in Canada. Uh, so most of the startups, when they finish the program, they will join an accelerator, an incubator, another one different from us uh, that can help them to the next level. So we are uh, in connection with different accelerators and incubators in Toronto. And uh, we are happy to see when they are moving on uh, to different programs, uh, you know, in not just in Toronto, but in, in general in Canada, that can help them to uh, understand better uh, how they can grow faster in the market. Um, we have uh, startups that have that are being part up to four different programs. Uh, there is no overlapping on that part, uh, but it's uh, you know a great opportunity for for people that want to uh, join other networks uh, that can help them to grow. And then uh, for some of them, uh, they can opt for the startup visa program. The startup visa program is basically an acceleration program for uh, certain qualified startups, uh, certainly a tool also for, uh, you know, best startups um, that are coming into the program that are thinking that at least one or two co-founders are going to uh, actually move to Canada to continue growing their company. Uh, so as designated organization uh, for the startup visa program, we're willing to provide a supporting letter uh, for those startups that are growing into the market and, and going into the um, startup visa program. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in order to join the startup visa program, startups need, uh, need to uh, finish the soft landing program. And then, uh, you know, they go through an interview with, some uh, volunteers from the board of directors of LATAM startups that are, that are basically, uh, what I said, volunteering uh, to select the startups uh, that are with the best profile for the startup visa program. Uh, so that means to say that startups that are coming into the Scale Up Bootcamp Toronto and Soft uh, Landing Program, there is no warranty that they are going to be selected into the startup visa program. Most of them kind of realize uh, during the program that they have some other uh, options in the market that uh, permanent resident through the startup visa program is not the only one. And uh, we would like you to think about that too, is, uh, you know, the startup visa program is a tool and we use it for uh, fast growing companies uh, that we believe that are going to, um, you know, take a big advantage uh, of, uh, you know, the opportunity that they have at this point and they need uh, you know, permanent residents uh, right away to continue uh, growing in the in the in in the market. But certainly, there are other options that are also cheaper, that are also accessible, like the intercompany transfer. There are several other options that you can look up. And, and through the uh, bootcamp and soft landing program, we have some lodgers that can help you to actually, you know, look at those options as well. Uh, and, and then, you know, all, all companies, uh, regardless, uh, you know, they are, um, they are good to apply for the startup visa program when the soft landing program uh, finish. But, you know, we encourage them to see other options in case that the startup visa program is not a good fit for them. Now, what is the Startup Visa Program? This is a federal government program uh, that uh, was created back in 2013. And that uh, the program actually um, help you to, uh, you know, to help startups um, to bring co-founders to Canada in order to grow their business. So this is a faster way to, uh, to actually come to Canada for some, of, some companies. Um, so there is a certainly designated organizations uh, in the list of, uh, you know, the government uh, program. And uh, if you go to the website, uh, you know, in the, the government website, it's very clear the information there that what do you require to actually become part of the Star Visa program. So from designated organizations, you have incubators, accelerators, 
angel investment firms and venture capital firms. Uh, for what is incubators and accelerators, which is our case, uh, we don't require to uh, have an investment in the startups. Uh, most of us actually are non-profit organizations, so we don't take equity over startups. Um, there are some of us that, you know, uh, place a fee uh, for the startups to be part of the programs, but not necessarily equity is involved on this. Um, so uh, for the incubators and accelerators, you will see a list of, uh, you know, designated organizations an angel investment firm and venture capital firms, they actually have to provide investment uh, between $75,000 to $200,000 uh, for a setups. So if you think about it, it's, 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 it's very difficult for international setups to get like funded by angel or venture capital firms. Um, you know that they don't know you, you are in another country. So uh, there are few cases that are actually shown that and the investment firms and venture capital firms are uh, part of the startup visa program, you know. But uh, certainly there is always the possibility there. So in between the requirements for the startup visa program, you actually can go there and you can see who can apply and what is the uh, general requirements uh, for your business to become part of the startup visa program. And uh, because this is, uh, you know, this is a very sensitive area, uh, we take this very seriously, uh, you know, in terms that, um, that, you know, we evaluate very well the startup that is going into this program. It's very sensitive uh, for us to make sure that we comply with the requirements from the government. So this is why uh, we try to encourage the startups not just to look at this um, option because it's very complex, uh, but two other options that, that also can help you to grow business here. Um, in Canada, but certainly, uh, you know, there are certain companies that um, they actually go through the qualification and they are uh, totally okay with this, uh, with their requirements. So where to start? Uh, we uh, just today, we um, happened to uh, decide to extend applications for the Escala Bootcamp uh, Toronto for 2020. We receive a big, a good number of applications every day, and uh, we want to really select uh, the the best startups uh, that we can have. Um, applications were closing today, uh, October thirtieth, but we have extended until November fifteenth because we have seen uh, in in Gust that there are several companies that have started applications but they haven't finished, uh, you know, to complete applications. So. We are giving a little bit more time to finish those applications. We have a limited um, amount of companies that we can receive into the Escala Bootcamp program to our, our own capacity. Uh, so if you are one of them, please go ahead and go to GUST and, and try to complete your application. There is also more information in our website, Latin Startups website, uh, under Apply. Uh, where it says the requirements uh, for us to receive startups into the program, and uh, then uh, you will have some you have some videos and information there that can help you. Uh, there is also information in the um, uh, in the website under the different steps: uh, the Scala uh, Bootcamp program, uh, soft landing program, and startup visa program. And actually, under the soft landing programs, you also will see. Uh, some videos from the older generations. At this point, we have 59 startups that have passed through the program. And uh, for us, it, this is, uh, you know, a great deal for, uh, you know, two years that we have been running the program uh, to actually have been uh, able to help uh, those companies to come here and to figure out the uh, best, best path to enter to this market. So if you cannot come, you cannot make it, uh, we are actually uh, making a, a new uh, webinar at the end of uh, November as Canada 101 uh, that is basically bringing you the basics um, that you need to know about the Canadian market uh, uh, to bring the company here. So we are talking about immigration, forest startups, incorporation, and angel investment. And in that regards, you may have a, you know, a first idea of what are the possibilities, uh, you know, to bring your company here into Canada. 
So thank you so much for your attention today uh, to the information we have passed about um, you know, our programs. We are going to continue the conversation with uh, Raquel. Uh, the, she's a co-founder uh, from, uh, from uh, WW8. This is a Brazilian company. She already passed through uh, a Scala Bootcamp program, soft learning program, and a startup visa program. She recently got her permanent residence and she will share uh, some more uh, insights with you about what is the programs and what was the experience for her. Thank you so much uh, for being here today. And uh, we hope that you can continue um, um, basically in contact with us. Uh, if you have any questions, please just contact at latamestartups.org. Thank you. Uh, they actually uh, have gone through the Scala Bootcamp uh, program and also the soft landing program. And they are in the startup visa already with a permanent residence here in Canada. Uh, so once um, Raquel finishes, then we can uh, go ahead and, and receive questions from you guys. Thank you, Raquel. Thanks so much, Miriam, for the invitation. I'm very glad to be here. I will tell a little bit about our experience uh, during the boot camps of lending and also the startup is a program. It was really a great experience to get maturity for the Canadian market. Uh, we started one year and a half ago uh, during the boot camp. Uh, it, it was two weeks of program. Uh, it's an immersion to understand better how the things go, to connect with people, to understand the market, and also to prepare uh, for the soft lending program. Uh, we also do some uh, visits and connections in the environment. It was really great to see Waterloo and what Toronto helps uh, in terms of uh, uh, business and also the ecosystem for the startups and the business here. Uh, it's really a huge uh, place to do uh, business and also to connect people. Uh, for us, it was really important because then we realized that Atomos uh, was a good fit for the Canadian market. Atomos is a healthcare platform uh, that helps all the clinical assessment uh, for the patient data in uh, hospitals and healthcare uh, areas. So for us, it was a challenge to know if uh, the, the Canadian market would uh, receive us well. Uh, then in the soft landing program, we, we received a lot of mentors and coaching sessions to know better how we could um, uh, actually work with our business plan, work with our canvas, uh, develop our, our marketing plan uh, to really uh, show our product to the market. So these three months of program uh, give, gave us uh, a um, much better overview about everything and we could uh, do uh, great connections uh, in events and visits that let the open doors here. Uh, I can say that uh, Atlata really help us with uh, not only connections and network but knowledgement. The, the team is, is really help with us uh, in sessions groups and also individually and for me, that helped a lot. Uh, then after our soft lending program, we decided to uh, pass through the process for the startup visa program. So we did the interview, we, uh, we, we passed through a board of a uh, session board to be interviewed and see if, if our program, uh, our, our company was ready to go uh, for this uh, process. Uh, we presented our business plan and everything that we have done during the soft lending program. And also about our company that uh, it has been working in Brazil for 10 years. So we have a maturity company in Brazil that has also uh, a product uh, that is uh, with a lot of traction uh, in that country. So for us, we, we had to adapt our technology to the, the Canadian market and also understand better how the things work here. 
because one of the things that I, I might say is that sometimes uh, we have a good product, uh, we, we are uh, very successful in our countries, but we need to know how the things work here and be humble to understand that sometimes we might say, change our, our business, the way we work, the way we communicate. For example, for me, I'm a journalist and I work with communication strategies and I, 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 I had to understand better how we connect people here, that they prefer email than personal interviews at the first time, that we must be prepared for a pitch and talk and understand about our, our business fast and we must uh, have uh, the opportunity to talk for five minutes and, and give them an, a great overview about our business. So, this uh, soft learning program gave us this all this uh, maturity to pass through the startup visa program, and then we went to the startup visa program. It's four months of experience. Uh, we stayed in a co-working space with other startups from the uh, soft learning program, so we we had connections with them that would was great to exchange uh, experience to know better how they were passing through all these situations they they were here different business that we could do network together also events uh, like the, uh, there's a lot of events and uh, also networking uh, meetups to help us with investors with uh, connections from our sector and during these four months, not only we pass through this uh, all this process for maturity and traction for our business to find our first pilots and uh, sell our product, but also to prepare ourselves with emotional aspects because it's not uh, easy to go to another country and change your habits, change the way you you work, you communicate, and so this was really important to be supported uh, by a, a an, an accelerator like uh, like the. Uh, and for uh, for us, we are really excited because I don't know any case uh, as fast as we were. We applied for the startup visa program in July, in the end of July, actually. We followed the community <laughs> process. Uh, we hired an agency to help us with the, all these documents. This was important because the, there is a huge checklist of documents that uh, we must uh, follow. Uh, and translate so be prepared for that and apply as soon as you can uh, when you pass through the startup visa program this is important because then you had time you have time to to organize all the things you need um, so we applied in the end of july and you will have received uh, last week a great news that we are now permanent residents so uh, it took less than three months to receive the news. I don't know any case that uh, happened so fast. Uh, now we are permanent residents, me and my business partner, Diego. Uh, we, are, we, we, we know that it's a big challenge and sometimes a dream for a lot of entrepreneurs that wish to work here and live here. Canada is an amazing country. I've been received here very well, not only for work, but with great friends from all over the world. Uh, for me, that I really like to meet people. This multi multicultural aspect is enhanced more my curiosity and my desire to be here. Uh, so for the ones that wants to, to scale for other parts of the world, it's also a great place to start because then you know other people and you can interview them and know more about their culture. So you, you don't... Uh, you are not only in Canada, you are in, in an environment that uh, have people from all over the world. So for us now, our super challenge is to show our platform uh, in the healthcare sector and really uh, work a lot to, to be succeed, su successful here. Um, Lata is, is still helping us with connections uh, as an alumni. We can stay here sometimes. Uh, the group is really great, so sometimes we have some doubts. Still have, and I, I, I know that it's going to take some time to know everything from here. 
So for us, it will be a great experience and I thank you so much for the opportunity. Anything, any doubt you have, please ask, then Gabriela and Perla are going to answer to you. Yeah, thank you very much, Raquel, for your time and sharing your experience. We will share Raquel's LinkedIn account in the chat. So if anything, you can go message her and check out about her company, which is helping the healthcare industry very much. So we are now open to questions from you guys. So if you guys have any questions, press the raise hand button or just type your questions in and we will be very happy to help you with that. Any question guys? Uh, we have uh, five minutes to answer your questions if you have uh, one. Anybody? Uh, Carmen, you raised your hand but uh, I don't know if you still have a question or it was answered during the presentation. Mm, no? Okay, well, just uh, uh, somebody is going to say something. Hilario? Uh, Hilario, you have a question? No. No? Okay. Okay. So just to summarize, uh, well, uh, as you just uh, were seeing, we have the, the three um, programs, uh, which it goes by steps. So in order to get to the start of visa, uh, companies have to go through the first two, which is the two week bootcamp, and then the um, soft landing program, which is three months. And after that, um, uh, you will be eligible to actually apply. That doesn't mean that you will actually be accepted to the program, but um, you, uh, everybody who successfully finished the sub landing program uh, will have the right to apply for the start of visa. Okay. Um, if you need more information, just visit our website. Um, there is Raquel's LinkedIn profile on uh, on the on the chat and uh if you have any question just please uh email us or contact us to uh to through the contact um email which i'm gonna type right now uh and or uh linkedin so i think that's it uh guy anything else yes um if you want any if you don't have any questions right now and you just want to know more about the Canadian ecosystem in general, um, as Miriam mentioned before, there is a, uh, there's another online workshop coming up. We will be inviting lawyers and experts in the field to talk about immigration, incorporation, and also about angel investors. So if those are the topics that interest you, um, I sent the link above in the chat about the Canada one-on-one -on -one online workshop. So if that interests you, um, please register right now for early bird prices. Awesome. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you for uh, having the time to have this, this webinar and hopefully uh, we would like to um, hear from you. Okay? Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>